topic is on induced subgraphs and this topic is from graph theory. So in my previous video, I have explained what are graphs and what are subgraphs. And in today's video, I am going to give a clear cut idea on induced subgraphs. In my upcoming video, just the topics are vertex deleted subgraph and edge deleted subgraphs with few examples. See here in today's video, given a graph G V comma E. So what is this V? So V is nothing but the set of vertices and E set of lines. If these points and lines, see here, set of vertices. So V is set of vertices and E the set of lines or edges. So this form a graph. Suppose there is a subgraph H V1 E1. So if I take a subset from V and sub edges from this main set and form a subgraph of G V comma E such that every edge of G where U comma V belongs to V1. See here U comma V belongs to V1 is an edge of H also. So every head edge of G is also an edge of H also. Then H is called a subgraph of G induced by V1 and is denoted by singleton set V1. See here, here is an example of an graph. See in this graph, so this is the graph consisting of the vertices and edges. So vertices are nothing but V is nothing but V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. See V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. And now we have to consider a subgraph. So we have to consider a subset of V. So consider V1 is equal to V1, V2, V3. V2 and V5. See here, I am considered only three points here. See, now this is V1, this is V2 and this is V5. So, this is V5. Now, see, we have an edge with V1, V2. See here, V1, V2. We have an edge with V1, V2. So, if you take this point, so if you take this graph and see, and observe that if I consider this diagram, so V1, V2 is an edge here. So it is also an edge from the main graph G. So this is the graph and this is the subgraph. Is it clear? So V1, V2 is having an edge and V1, V2 is also having an edge. Next V1, V5 is having an edge in G and V1, V5 is also having an edge in H. And next one V2, V5 is having an edge in G and it is also maintaining an edge in H. Therefore, we say that H is a subgroup of G and also we say that and also we say that it is an induced subgroup as we have all the edges in H are the edges in G. Therefore, it is an induced subgraph. It is an induced subgraph. Now, if I consider an, another figure here, see here, this is from the main figure, if I take a subset that is V1, V2, V4 and V5. See here, this is V1, this is V2 and this is V4 and this is V5. And see, V1, V2, V4 and V5 from the main, main graph G. And see if you observe this one, V1 and V2 is having an edge. So, G is also maintaining an edge with V1, V2. Here. Next. Next, V2, V5 is having an edge in H subgraph. See here, V2, V5 is also having an edge in main graph G. Next one, V5, V4 is having an edge in H. Next, V4, V5 is having an edge in G. And the next thing he is, V1, V5 is having an edge. V1, V5 is having an edge in G. Whereas, V1, V5 is not having an edge in H. Therefore, we say that it is not induced. So, it is not induced subgraph. See here, when we say that it is an induced subgraph, as all these points should be the subset of V. So, V1, V2, V5. So, it is a subset of this main set V. That is V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. And next one, all the edges related to these points are also the edges in the main set G. So, V1, V2 is having an edge. 
v1 v5 is having an edge and v2 v5 is having an edge therefore we say that it is a subgraph and which subgraph it is induced subgraph and next if we consider the subset of v that is v1 v2 v4 and v5 and see here in this graph if you see all the edges are there so v1 v5 is missing so this this edge is missing so this is not there here v1 v5 edge is missing whereas it has an edge in G, whereas it don't have an edge in H. Therefore, we say that it is not an induced subgraph. So, this is how we have to clearly uh, mention that it is an induced subgraph. So, it should maintain all the vertices in, from the main set and it also it should maintain all the edges from the main set. Then we say that H is an induced subgraph. Thank you so much for watching and hope you all guys understand. And next in my next upcoming video, I am going to post on vertex deleted subgraph and edge deleted subgraph. Please have a look at those and definitely it will be very helpful if you really like you know what to do. Please subscribe and pass it on to your friends.